Wow, 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 it's all I can say. Trending on social media, UFC faces boycott calls after partnering with Bud Light. This is a tough one for me because Dana White, who basically runs the UFC, has always been a supporter of President Trump and of the MAGA movement. So why he would do this, if it was him, that's something I don't know. But why they would do this is a shocker to me. So the question is, will you boycott the UFC or will you continue to be faithful for someone who's been faithful to the movement? So here we go. Let me read this to you real quick and you're going to have to decide. News that Bud Light was returning as the official beer of the UFC ignited immediate firestorm criticism on social media sparking renewed right wing boycott calls. On Tuesday, Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser-Busch and UFC, an American mixed martial arts organization that holds more than 40 live events annually around the world, announced a new multi-year marketing partnership. According to an online statement shared by the beer maker starting January 1st, Anheuser-Busch will become the exclusive official partner of the UFC as part of the sponsorship. Bud Light will become the official beer in the U.S. according to the statement. Why I find this interesting is Bud Light did what it did and they never apologized for it. They never said they made a mistake. So in my opinion, they're trying to backdoor many conservative people or many supporters of the MAGA movement through the back door because they know that many of them are very big fans of the UFC. I don't know how this will affect it. I don't know if those fans will boycott the UFC because like I said, Dana White has been a very big proponent of free speech, of the MAGA movement, of President Trump. So it's a decision you have to make as an individual. You Will you support the UFC? You can still support the UFC. Doesn't mean you have to support Bud Light. So that's where you have to make that choice. Anyway, while the terms were not disclosed publicly, ESPN reported that it was the biggest sponsorship deal in UFC history. Critics were expressly enraged that the deal means the Bud Light brand, which will replace Modelo as the official bear of the UFC, will have a presence in all the MMA organization's content. The news of the deal tri triggered quick backlash for the UFC and reignited boycott calls for the Brewer, which has been plagued by criticism for months after the beer brand partnered with transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney for promotion in April. So again... It's kind of like a conflict if you're a fan of the UFC and if you despise but life for what they have done. So you as an individual have to decide what's best for you. But always remember, the UFC has been a big proponent of free speech, the MAGA movement, President Trump. So the conflict is something you have to decide. The problem is Bud Light knew was failing and they thought they could get back in the good hands of people by going on to the UFC. So, again, this is a tough one. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you and show you that Bud Light is trying its best to get back in the mainstream all without just admitting they were wrong and apologizing, which I think if they would have done at the beginning, all of this could have been avoided. But we are where we are now and you have to decide whether... The support for the movement or whether the hate for a brand that hates you is more important. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.